another movie review. Today I'm here to talk about one from RLJE Films. And it is All the Creatures Were Stirring. So this is starts. It's an anthology film that starts off with this super awkward, super uh, socially inept couple that meets up for a first date because they're both alone on Christmas Eve. And they figure it's better to spend it with somebody than with nobody. So they go to this like kind of experimental live theater production. And then each different act within that is then expanded into like a short that we see, uh, you know, like you would expect from an anthology. There's quite a few here, though. There's a handful instead of just like the usual three in a wraparound. Uh, there's one about a uh, boring office party that kind of takes an unexpected turn. Uh, there's a really awkward dinner party uh, toward the end. There's one where there's uh, a guy runs into a couple weird girls in a parking lot. There's a just an awful rehash of a Christmas Carol in there and uh, some other stuff. I didn't like this movie. I don't even want to talk about the synopsis anymore. Uh, this was from Rebecca McKendry, who is huge in the horror co online horror community and the LA horror community. Um, she's a film professor. She's in with Fangoria. She's a big shot at Bloomhouse. She's on all these, you know, shockwaves, all these podcasts and whatnot. So you would really think this is somebody who's going to really deliver when they finally make a horror movie. And if you watch these videos very often, you realize very rarely do I actually just say like this movie is horrible. But all, cre all the creatures we're stirring is horrible. It's boring. It's derivative. It does nothing original. It does nothing fresh. It doesn't even do it well. Um, it's got a lot of familiar faces in the cast if you're a fan of indie horror. But nobody really tries. Nobody really puts in much of an effort. Uh, Jonathan Kite, who plays the uh, creepy cook on Two Broke Girls, he at least kind of go tries to get some energy going but the material he's given is so bad there's only so much he can do his segment ends up being halfway entertaining because of that but it's this awful just ridiculously lame take on a christmas carol it's horrible it's borderline unwatchable but just because he's so goofy in it it makes it kind of entertaining the one i was talking about with the parking lot that's actually the best part of the movie and it's one of the shortest segments which makes no sense to me uh, the one in the office party goes on forever. The dinner party goes on forever. Just excruciatingly long with no payoffs, with no real entertainment. And then the, the kind of cool stuff, like I actually really like the experimental theater parts. Like when we see the things acted out a little bit, like before and after they segue into the actual like segments, it's really cool looking. And I actually thought that was much more interesting than the movie itself. Um, there's not very much blood here. There's a couple scenes. There is some just unbelievably horrible CGI in this. It looks like Windows Paint. It's absolutely ridiculous. I guess if you want to like riff on the movie, if that's just something I don't particularly like that, but if you're somebody who likes to get together with friends and make fun of movies, this is one that you could probably do that with just because the performances are so lifeless and no one's really interested in being there. Nobody puts in much effort. The CGI is so horrible. And there's really nothing you can do because it's just a flat-out boring movie. I don't know how somebody who has uh, ascended so high in the horror world can come up with something that's so patently bland and mediocre. I don't understand it. Um, I didn't go in with sky-high expectations by any means, but I at least expected it to be competent, and it's not. This is just a really boring, really horrible movie. Uh, indie horror anthologies are always a mixed bag. But at least normally you get a little bit of life or you see a little bit of spark of creativity. There is nothing here. This just seems like the most bland oatmeal you can think of shaped into a horror anthology. I hated it. Uh, after the first couple segments, I was like, at least there's only one left. And I checked my watch and I was only half or half an hour into it. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. It just would not end. This was torturous to watch. The DVD from RLJE Films has a filmmaker commentary. It's also available on DVD. But... I, I hated this movie. I thought it was just so lame, so boring. It just had really no entertainment value for me uh, whatsoever. I thought the couple things that were kind of neat were pushed way to the back in favor of these just horrible, boring scenes. That's my review of the movie. <laughs> if you want to read my full review, you can go to markfusion.com and check that out, as well as hundreds of other movie reviews. And also ones that are actually, you can see some really cool indie horror anthology reviews there as well, or just better horror movies in general. Uh, you can also find hundreds of movie reviews right here in this YouTube playlist. As always, the best way to help me out is just to hit that sub button. It's a free, easy, direct way to support me, help me to keep making these videos. So I would greatly appreciate that. And if you want to go the super extra mile when you do visit my site, you can use my links there uh, through Amazon. And a little bit of that will come back to me. I can buy more movies, and then I can make more reviews. Thank you so much for suffering through this review. I had to suffer through this movie. Wow. Like I said, I very rarely just outright dismiss a movie, but this was absolutely 
boring, dull, bleh. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon.